Hello everyone, and today we're taking a look at the WZ111, the Chinese Tier 8 Premium Heavy Tank. It is known for its abili ability to travel at the same speed as, as some slow mediums. Uh, also, this thing has uh, a decent armor. I wouldn't say the best, but it will do for for a heavy tank. I find the front armor quite troll. Uh, as long as the enemy doesn't aim at your lower plate, your upper plate will hold out. Uh, about 80% of the shots uh, you are likely to see, but don't expect to bounce uh, TDs of course, they're just another matter, but you can still bounce them, it's not like it's totally not possible. So what's my recommendation with this tank? I would go for Rama, Vert Stabs and maybe Vent, uh, but there are other options you can take. So you can see me, I am in a very aggressive position. This is where you would like to be in your medium, right? But I'm 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 in a WZ and let's look at this shit. I bounced a T34, that has like goddamn amazing uh, penetration. Uh, and then something else bounced again. And I'm not really into the best position to be honest. But as you can see this thing because it has speed to get into positions, I can play it like almost like a medium, like a heavy medium hybrid. And that's what makes this thing so amazing. The amount of punishment you can deal out is so good. So how can you build up your stats really quickly? Well, you gotta you gotta know what you're doing. And that was a heat round from the SU-152, I believe. But you can see that as long as I play with the brain, you know, if I get hold down, I am pretty invincible. So let's just get. Down and plant a few extra shots into the T34, C32, and yeah, the the armor. If you just give them the front, is it's all right. It will do the job. The gun is very punchy, as you can see. Uh, you gotta you gotta know what you're doing in your WZ. It's not as reckless as the IS6, for example, where you can just drive recklessly and still make a massive profit. Uh, but this thing it requires a bit more skill. Uh, but I think it's as good as the IS-6 in terms of money making. Now the worst tier 8 money making tank is probably the T-54 uh, prototype uh, because it just can't punch it with its normal round. Um, or it might be the super version but uh, I'm not sure. I would say it's either them two. But the best money maker really doesn't really matter because it really depends on how many games you're willing to play. Uh, like if you got a T34, that makes shit tons of money. But if you don't, if you don't enjoy it as much as your IS6, for example, then you know what? You do, you're gonna play five games of the IS6 and maybe two games of the T34 every day. Obviously, you're gonna make more in the long, long, long term uh, if you get yourself the IS6. So, in my opinion, yeah, the premium money making ability. This tank is awesome as well. Uh, it's definitely on par with the other T8 premiums. Uh, the gun is just your Russian. You know, dirty 122mm gun with shitty penetration, but again, as you can see, if you aim, you will be able to do uh, damage. And of course, I'm already on 3.5k known damage, probably done more. And yeah, I, lo I love this tank. Tell me what you think about it, if you got one or not. Uh, during the last Christmas missions, this was, I think, a really good buy. Uh, absolutely amazing. I, I love it. It trained up my Chinese crew as well. Uh, which is no brainer because there are no Chinese heavy tank uh, that quite is like this I would say because the 112 in my opinion is a lot worse uh, for a number of reasons uh, first of all it's not as fast as this and um, in other respects that shit in the 112 it gets set on fire almost every single day this thing is supposed to get ammo rack but I never ever got ammo rack once probably because I have I think preventance, preventative maintenance or something like that. But you can see the speed of this vehicle is truly amazing. I'm around 50 km just to just to tell you, 50, 40, yeah, easy. This thing will reach the speed uh, like that. And one thing it's got a, a bit more than the IOC is that you got heat rounds, and the heat rounds provides you way more penetration than. The IS6 APCR rounds, and which I which I think is a good reason why you want to play your 111 sometimes because when you meet tier nine, your 111 will surely perform a bit 
better if you need it to just with the help of the few gold rounds. So yeah, the 111 just uh, fantastic overall tank uh, if you know how to play it. Of course, uh, this thing, the armor will work if you know how to hide your lower plate. And you can see I pulled off plenty of bounces in this game. Uh, and also, you can see if I was in IS6, I wouldn't be as fast uh, to get into positions. Somehow I missed that shot to get my four kill. However, it doesn't matter now. He's dead, and I've done 4.5k damage. Uh, so yeah, not not a bad game. I think I've done a few blind shots. Uh, so yeah, this was a brilliant money maker game. I, I aced it, and um, I just think this is absolutely fantastic tank for you to to enjoy it. And if you didn't have one, uh, make sure you, if there is a chance for you to get one in the future, then make sure you do get it.